mode with no flash photography throughout the show. A small caution, there will be some forms of flashing lights during the performances. There will be traditional Malaysian food served at the chemistry atrium after the show. supposed to have an emceeing partner here with me tonight. Hey, wow, what this? Operating on Malaysian time, is it? Well, I'm here. I swear, if there's one thing you can count with Malaysians, is them being late. No, no, no. Listen, Miris, I'm operating on Michigan time, so technically, I'm always early. Didn't you hear, though? They're abolishing Michigan time soon, so good luck being early next semester. Thank God I'm graduating, though. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Yes. But before we do so, ladies and gentlemen, may we request that you rise and join us for our national anthem, Nagaraku. Take your seats. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Salam satu Malaysia. Good evening. Huanying. Varakum. And welcome to this year's Malaysian, Malaysian Cultural Night. <laughs> I'm Athira. And I'm Amira. I call her Mirrors. I call her Tears. And together, we're, we're Tears Tears. Hey, I thought we decided that my name would come first. No, 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 no. Tears, if we're gonna make this show business thing, we gotta put the name of the funnier and more well-known person in the front. You know, that's okay. how it works. Yeah. Mirrors, listen. Okay, we're gonna settle this old school Malaysian style. Old school style, I like it, I like the sound of it, okay. One, two, so. One, two, so. I can't. One, two, so. Ah. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Bam. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Tears. I swear. We are so unladylike, dressed in these traditional clothes. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You know, back in the day, our moms, our grandmas, our great grandmas, if they had laughed like us just now, they'd be so frowned upon. Also, did you know that my mom's from Kedah? Yeah. That's the northern part of Malaysia, if okay. that's geographic. Yeah. We could be right. Yeah. If she had heard us laugh like that, she would have been like, Hum, boy! Melalak sampai nampak belakang nak tukar, ha? So basically, she was just telling you shut up right there. Okay, maybe. That sounds like my mom. 
Yeah, anyway, but that's true though. I remember in all the old Malaysian films, if all the women were dressed, you know, very traditionally like us, they would all giggle very, very softly behind traditional fans, you know. They weren't even supposed to show their teeth. Yeah, yeah you're right. Not like us, definitely. You mean yeah. like this. Thank you. Ready? 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 One. Two. Oh, oh, oh. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Getting ready? Yes, I'm ready. Something like this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, basically Man. something along those lines. <laughs> okay. Well, moving on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call on the Malaysian Students Association President, Jeevan Etraj Singh, to give up a few words. Jeevan, only a few words, okay? Not too long. Good evening, everyone. I'm pretty sure some of you were disappointed when I did not come out dancing like this, but we'll save it for next year, all right? So thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. I know a lot of you will be heading out for the game later, and I hope this will be the best pregame you've ever been to. All right, so every year, we try our best to come up with a colorful and um, vibrant show for all of you to sort of experience the rich Malaysian culture and history. And behind every play of every Malaysian culture night, there is a message for you guys. But I will not spoil the rest of the evening for you guys and tell you. It's something that I want you guys to keep in the back of your mind while enjoying the show. Ultimately, our goal for organizing this night is so that by the end of it, when you go home, you'll ho hopefully go home with a small, tiny piece of Malaysia in your hearts. A lot of life effort um, has gone into organizing all of this um, for the play, for the dances, for this entire evening. And there's one person that worked especially hard to make this evening possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the woman of the hour, the director of the Malaysian Cultural Night 2018, Sarah Shuhaizen. Thank you, Jeevan. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for the slight inconvenience. It was an unintended April Fool's joke. I hope that this show will make up for it. I'm pretty sure it will make up for it. Um, first and foremost, I would like everyone to give a round of applause to everyone who has made this possible. And what we often don't see is the 3 a.m. spent typing out the script, making the props, frequent trips to Salvation Army, and even when we even started booking this theater. It was as early as last year. So what you see here is months of underground work, unseen but vital. Moving on, since I know everyone loves stories, I will tell you a little bit about me. My paternal grandmother was a Chinese adopted as a baby by my great-grandfather. So my dad often gets stopped by a Chinese salesperson, and they speak Mandarin to him. So after a while, I learned how to say, I don't know what you're talking about, so just I could grab my dad away from the Chinese salesperson. So I'd be like, well, push it down, and I'll put my dad away. And I didn't initially wear the headscarf, so they didn't get confused, but when I did, they were more confused. Yeah. And my dad was very patient, so eventually I, I just helped him out. Um, so I don't really want to, I know you're all waiting for the performance, but let's be real, you're here for the food. Um, yeah, so the, I don't have anything else to say. All I have to say is enjoy the show. Yes, thank you, thank you, Jeevan and Sarah, for those kind words. Yeah. Um, but it is true, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what you see here tonight would not have been possible without the hard work and dedication of all the Malaysian students here at the University of Michigan. 
That is true. Tonight's performance is a showcase of Malaysian talent from script writing to choreography, dancing, acting. Yes. Uh, but before that, we would just like to thank you once again for spending your night here with us. I know it's the NCAA Finals, um, but without you, we wouldn't have this show, so thank you in advance. What you will see here tonight in tonight's play and dances that feature the multicultural background that makes up Malaysia is set in 1465. That's a really long time ago. In the port city of Malacca. That's a state in Malaysia. And it was a very, very famous port, not just for Malaysia, but for all of Southeast Asia because it gathered traders from all around the world for its uh, spices, for its silk, you know, you just name it, Malacca probably had it, okay? But what you will see here tonight, our Sultan Mansur Shah, which is the main character of our play, is very, very keen on expanding the Malaccan Empire. He was also keen on expanding his collection of concubines. Yeah. So, although this play does serve as a glimpse into Malaysia's past, it wasn't necessarily reflected in its entirety, nor was it always a pretty one, to be honest. Um, and so... Yes, tears. But before we go on and tell them the whole story, so they can leave mid-show, okay. um, let's not get ahead of ourselves and let's start the show. Okay, Marys, you're right. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to present to you 500 Years a Sultan. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome! Ho ho ho, I'm a little ho! Thank you, Tumpo Bate, thank you. How was the ship right here? I hope we didn't run to anything on the way. Those giant squids can be real pain sometimes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we did actually run into a giant squid. Okay. But it was no match for the world renowned Chinese Navy. Uh, forgive my superior, he's a bit seasick. We had soy squid for breakfast this morning, and he kept saying the same thing over and over again. The world renowned the wrath of the mid and some of all the sea monsters. Ooh, shiny. Ah uh, yes, I see you've taken an interest in our newly minted silver coins. We've been printing several batches of them lately for the war. Uh, our best economic scholars tell us that we don't need to expect any negative side effects of, you know, continue doing this. We're back for this. Those economists sure know how to predict the future. I indeed they do. I? Did you say I? Oh, oh, oh calm down, Admiral, calm down. I said I. I as in A Y E. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Pate. I just lost this eye due to an accident involving moth. It's a bit silly, I admit. I'm still a bit sensitive about it. I'm so sorry, Pate. It's alright. Perhaps we should go to our rooms to settle down. Then we could go for the night market tour. Nonsense! I want to see Mulaku right now at this moment. I've heard so much about it. The traders, the spices, the craftsmen. Tumpapate will be able to show us around right now. Of course. So as you can see, you've completely landed three, three steps around our main market. We have barrels and barrels of spices, tea, syrup, and um, ivory. Between you and me, I still don't understand why we allow selling ivory. I mean, it's for people. It's a real shame, a travesty what the Julius brand opens. And over there are some human slaves being there. Excellent. The Rupati, look over there. I think they're fighting. It was only two months ago that it was two barrels. Now it's three? That's 50% increase! I am insane! What kind of margins do you think I make? I'm not paid. I know several others were unhappy when you raised it the last time. Pay the debt. We remove you. You can't make me! I, I have rights! I call the traders' union! <laughs> nice try. Everyone knows the rules they said were like the cute purple, non binding. <laughs> yeah? Okay? Non binding! Wow! Wow! That's the What's going on here? Stop that! Stop that, Ronaldo Choco! What's going on here? This is the third time they raised Texas. You're getting not paying for another word. Minding your own business? Choking another person is minding your own business? You started it! Don't get your... Look, we have guests. Oh. And I'm sure the two of you know to want to be held overnight for something silly like this. Oh. Now pack all your stuff and leave. Okay, so I can take my European national... It's new ship... Go! Oh, sorry. Wow, you were perfect. That was so impressive. Truly impressive. I'm still a bit seasick, but whoa, don't mess with Perpate! Yeah, Perpate! Truly impressive, Perpate. All the rumors that we hear of your skills as a mediator don't do justice to the real thing. Oh, that was uh, nothing. That was. Um, well, that was quite impressive, honestly. <laughs> Did you see the guy in the chokoto? He like choked when he saw me. <laughs> I know, right? On a serious note. Serious. Coming from the guy wanting to murder his squid lunch. Ah, yes, yes. These mushrooms are ironically really to bring me up. Hmm. Who said that? Anyway, I, we want to discuss the proceedings for the arrival. There are some rules and formalities we'd like to make you aware of. Okay, uh, not a problem. When is the princess expected to arrive? In a few days, it's customary that the kingdom send representatives of the future bride a week in advance. We're here to make sure that everything is prepared for Her Majesty's arrival. Okay, not a problem. The two of you should settle down. Maybe we should pick up a little? I'll have my men show you to your rooms and we'll discuss your dinner options then. Okay. Please don't let it be squid. 